Have you heard the latest in the Windsor family saga? Prince Harry, the proverbial prodigal son, has made a whirlwind visit to London, stirring the pot in ways only a royal rendezvous can. Jetting across the pond, he shared a fleeting audience with his father, King Charles III, amidst the monarch's health crisis. This brief encounter, lasting but a mere half hour to 45 minutes, has set tongues wagging and speculation soaring. The meeting was a tete-a-tete, with Queen Camilla conspicuously absent. Was this a strategic move or a simple matter of palace protocol? Given the frosty portrayal of Camilla in Harry's memoir, spare, one might say her absence was a wise decision, avoiding additional drama. And like a whirlwind, Prince Harry was gone again, leaving behind a trail of royal ruminations and a flurry of furrowed brows. Now, it's the aftermath of this fleeting visit that has really got tongues wagging. As the dust settles from Prince Harry's whirlwind visit, the palace's reaction has been anything but quiet. The murmurs among palace aides and senior staffers, the indirect jabs at Harry's audacity to visit his ailing father, all paint a picture of a royal family rife with tension. It's as if Clarence House has become a stage for a Shakespearean drama, with every character playing their part. Imagine the whispers in the corridors, the subtle side glances exchanged over ornate dinner tables. The underlying message seems clear. Harry's unexpected visit, intended as a show of familial concern, has ruffled feathers in the royal roost. The palace, it seems, is not quite ready to roll out the red carpet for the prodigal son. And who can forget the frosty absence of Queen Camilla from the meeting? Was her absence a strategic move to avoid further drama? Or was it simply a matter of palace protocol? The speculation is as varied as the characters in this royal drama. Prince William's reaction, or rather the calculated silence and distance, only adds another layer to this complex narrative. It's been suggested that Harry's visit lit a fire under William, yet resulted in no reconciliation between the brothers. This underscores the deep rift that has formed within the House of Windsor, a reminder that the path to mending fences is fraught with obstacles, both seen and unseen. The palace is a house divided, grappling with how to maintain a delicate balance between public perception and private reality. Harry's attempt to bridge this gap, however brief, has only heightened the tension, drawing a mix of opinions and interpretations from royal insiders and observers alike. Yet, amidst this turmoil, one can't help but hope for a resolution to this royal saga. After all, beneath the grandeur and the titles, the royals are, at their core, a family navigating the turbulent waters of life, love and loyalty. It seems our Prince's gesture of familial concern has been interpreted by some as a breach of unspoken royal decorum. Uh, now let's turn our attention to the Royal Brotherhood. Prince William's reaction, or rather his calculated silence, adds another layer to this intricate tapestry. His failure to comment on Harry's surprise visit has been interpreted by many as a sign of the widening chasm between the two. This perceived distance, this silence punctuated with unspoken words, is as telling as any fiery confrontation. The brothers, once united in their royal duties and personal bond, now seem to be on divergent paths. The House of Windsor, a symbol of unity and continuity, is showing cracks in its facade. The whispers of a deep rift are growing louder, echoing through the opulent halls of the palaces and reaching the ears of royal observers worldwide. Reconciliation, it seems, is a steep mountain to climb. The path is littered with past grievances, misunderstandings, and the heavy weight of public scrutiny. It's a stark reminder that mending fences within the royal family is fraught with obstacles, both seen and unseen. In the end, this episode serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges inherent in royal life. The royal family, despite their grand titles and opulent palaces, 
are not immune to the complexities of human relationships. Every action they undertake, each decision they make is under the microscope, scrutinized by the public and dissected by the media. They walk a tightrope, a delicate balance between public perception and private reality. Every smile, every frown, each word spoken or left unsaid becomes a subject of speculation, a piece in the jigsaw of their lives. Their relationships too are put under the lens, tested and strained under the public eye, a constant juggle between duty and personal feelings. And yet, beneath the crowns and the titles, they are at heart just a family. A family grappling with the same issues that any other would, albeit on a grander, more public scale. As we watch from afar, one can't help but hope for a resolution to this familial drama. After all, even in the most royal of families, the bonds of blood and love are what ultimately hold the kingdom together. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Charles's cancer fight inside the King's silent struggle.